What up, what up, y'all? What's up? My bad. What's up? Let me show y'all what I'm about to do here. What I'm about to clean out. Just in case you guys didn't know, yes, I take this and I use this to clean my floor with at the truck stop. There's nothing wrong with cleaning this of your truck. All depends on what you like, how you want to ride, how you want to live in your truck. Me personally, y'all already know how I get down. Y'all know I don't play that yin yang. <laughs> y'all know I don't play that. So, I'm gonna be, this is what I'm doing. While I'm getting fueled, you guys, while it's not busy out here on the field aisle, knowing it is 4th of July weekend, the truck stop is really thin. It's thin. So this is all I'm doing. There's nothing wrong with taking a few minutes out of your time and cleaning your floors of your truck. However, however now, this is according to how you want to keep your truck clean. I think I'm just gonna do the driver's side today since I'm pressing for time to get back. Um, I'm just gonna do this side today. I'm not gonna do the whole truck. I'm just gonna do the driver's side. And um, I'm gonna show y'all the difference it makes. If you don't wanna pay, pay a truck stop to detail your truck on the inside. You just do it yourself. Do it yourself. Now I'm gonna take some uh, paper towels out here on the field aisle that they provide for us. And I'm just gonna wipe it down just a little bit, as much as I can. You get the subs out of here. Just to wipe the subs out. All it makes a difference, man. Keep your stuff clean. And the rest, it will dry. So, just like I said, just want to get the subs out. You can just do that. And um, you have a clean floor. At least. Let me show y'all. Look at the difference, my floor. Then the other side, this is the only part. This is the only part I got right here. So I still got that side over there to do. I do that another day. But I'm just showing y'all what you can do to keep your floors clean. To keep your floors clean. Keep them clean. I just got fuel, so. I stopped and um, headed to Tulsa, Oklahoma. So, I just wanted to show y'all that. You know what I'm saying? It's slow out here on the 4th of July. 
um, week weekend or weekday or week or whatever you want to call it. It might be four or five trucks out there parked on the lot. So slow. Easy peasy. Chill. I'll be nowhere. Guys, it is currently 840. 840. I just hit downtown Dallas. I was coming pretty good, but now I know the traffic is all riled up because this is 4th of July weekend. I mean week and weekend. Some people have three-day weekends, some people have four. And um, as of right now, I am coming up on the um, the 45, the 30, 35 split, excuse me. And um, yeah, basically this is all this is what this is, this traffic, everybody trying to get somewhere. And, um, it's moving, it's not as bad, but I am trying to get home myself so I can get on 45 and keep it moving, keep it booking. I have a three-day weekend. You guys, anytime you're coming up in traffic or even just slowing a slow, you know, slowing a sudden stop or sudden slow down, slow down. Y'all have freaking hiccups. I always put your uh, your four ways on, so it can indicate the the drop, the drivers behind you or cars behind you, whichever it is. To let them know they need to slow down or come to a stop. Or whatnot, you know, so they won't want nobody running behind behind you. So yeah, y'all, with that being said, I'm gonna cruise on down through here. Hopefully they'll keep moving. And um y'all have a safe, wonderful uh fourth of July. Salute to all who has served. I salute you guys. Thank you for serving and Thank you guys for watching, tuning in. As you know, comment, like, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm going to keep giving you guys content. Like I said, thank you for watching, man. I walk again. Really, really, really appreciate you and loves you very, very, very much. Peace.